Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This will be for the week of March 26th through April 1st, 2018. We are going to look at the primary energies that will be playing out for you this week. Um, but I do want to tell you that I have created a playlist, um, well three playlists for your sign. One is for the weeklies that I'm going to start doing. The second playlist is Aries Monthly Tarot Readings for all the monthlies that I do. And then last is Aries Timeless Tarot Readings for all the timeless tarot readings I do. That way, you know, just depending on what you are looking for, it's easily found. So I highly recommend you check out your playlists as it is my intention to upload something different for you guys three times a week. So Aries, let's see what the house of your zodiac, um, which one is highlighted the most this week. Ooh, we got the 10th house. Um, so this is Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And um, this is all about, you know, the hard work and everything it takes to get there. But it's your achievement, your status to the outside world. So this could be your career. This could be about some goal that's really big. You know, some of you might want to be famous and you're dreaming about it, you know. This is all about like your greatest achievements and how the outside world at large, you know, perceives that in a status perspective. So, Aries, let's take a look at what exactly is going on in that 10th house. I like it. This could definitely be about jobs for some of you. Maybe um, starting a new job, deciding to quit your job, changing your career path maybe. Okay. Wow. We have some fulfillment here. Let's see what pops out next. Nice. Okay. I like it. And look at... Man, the universe, I just say in these weeklies, the universe is just popping off crazy synchronicity. 1920, okay? And so we have 10 and then we have 20. So with wishing and fulfillment here, um, I feel one of two things is happening because this is a general reading. Either Aries is really uh, getting something great this week. And man, I'm telling you, that is like a theme through these readings. So it's got to be something about the um, planetary alignments or something, man. But anyways, this is all about something that you really want that's going to bring you great fulfillment. And this is the theme of your week, okay? So for some of you, this is happening, Okay, something is coming into fruition that is what you've been wanting and it's going to bring like so much fulfillment. For others of you, it's like this is where you are at mentally. You're really thinking about what what is it that I want to be? What do I want to achieve? What energies do I want to project out into the world? What is the legacy that I want to leave behind myself? Okay, so let's pull... A couple of cards to see what is um, your blessing or working for you this week and also what can potentially challenge you this week so I can get more info but with those numbers being so synchronistic like that definitely something coming to fruition for some of you you'll have to let me know What is working for you? I like this. Your secrets are safe, Aries. So if you have a confidant or you have somebody, you know, that you can count on, trust in them. But also this is the card about second chances and, you know, the release of feeling guilty, feeling bad, apologies, things like that. So some of you, um, it's just like there's this release. I'm trying to see with that second chances. Yeah, some of you, this is about something that you maybe have tried and failed at before or you've been wishing for and it just hasn't worked out, hasn't worked out. 
<laughs> and this is what may challenge you. Let your intentions be known. This here is, um, I feel telling you, Aries, don't wear your heart on your sleeve this week, okay? Um, be very straightforward about what you want and what you're looking for, but you do not need to leave yourself emotionally open and vulnerable in doing that, okay? Because I don't know why. And, or you know what? Perhaps that, on the other side of that, the challenge is maybe you do need to be vulnerable for once, okay? So if you are an Aries who is never vulnerable, who's never wearing your heart on your sleeve, um, you need to this week, okay? And there's somebody that's, that's totally on your side because this is also about a union. But the 10th house is not about, like, romance, okay? This is a general reading, so some of you, I suppose, could connect to it on that level. But this is something much bigger than a romance. This is, you know, about something you want to achieve. So this could be coming together with a business partner, um, but you need to be very open, you know, with that. Also, is this being your challenge? Somebody in your life could just be like too much for you. And because they're so sweet and kind, it's just really hard for you to be like, hey, you are too much. You smother the crap out of me. I cannot handle this. Please give me some space. Give me some room. Yes, I know you have my back till the end of time, but come on. Come on. It's not, I'd rather go it alone than have this huge price to pay. You know, like, so anyways, Aries, let's, uh, let's pull some cards to see what is going on with the energy this week for you. Okay. All right, so we have the two of coins here. We have the Ten of Coins here, and we have Judgment Reversed. Just would like to point out, my dear Aries, 20, 20, 10, 10, 2. So it's like, do you see the synchronicities happening with the numbers and your reading? Uh, definitely this week is about the completion of something. Um, it's like you're making a choice here. Maybe some of you have been working two jobs. And finally now this week, you know, that energy is changing for you. Because I'm not seeing the judgment card right now as a negative force in the reverse position. Just because we are in retrograde. What I'm seeing this as retrograde energy something coming back around for Aries in regards to this 10th house where because this is such positive energy we have some coins here it's just like there's this lucrative offer this week um, and it's just gonna release burden like you're at the end of this heavy heavy burden where maybe you have been working two jobs or you have this idea but you haven't had the resources you know, it's just, it's it's coming into focus. I don't know. Like, some of you, this could be some extra money showing up for sure just because of these cards. And then here we have this ten of um, wands, but the energy is being lifted. We're completing the cycle of this intense, you know, burden to carry or heavy, heavy load. Um with this, your energy level may be a little bit down, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think so much. I feel like that's just more like the load is, the heavy load is finally um, getting a bit lighter this week for Aries. And it has something to do with your achievements, um, your job, your idea. It's just a, a very positive looking week for Aries. So I'm going to pull you some advice. Look at that. The message. Positive news. Positive outcome. Do I need to say more? <laughs> 
that's your advice. No matter what's going on, Aries, you just, you trust the universe, okay, please, because you, it's like there's a second chance at something here, and it's gonna, it's like a wish coming true that brings you ultimate fulfillment. Some of you, it's bam this week, but others of you, it's like the start of that, or you finally get that message. It could be like you get that job this week, okay? So, Whatever's going on in your world, you know with how this relates to you, okay? And if you're like, not not at all, then maybe this might not be your reading, but I hope it is for everybody because, man, it looks so good. So expect positive news this week, Aries. Anyways, those are your messages. I'm wishing you a very beautiful and blessed week. Take care, Aries.